Hello, BGI Investment Group friends. It's so good to have you here today. I just want to kind of drop this short nugget for you. So get a minute, take some time and listen to what I'm saying, because this is about the power of the mind and our ability to truly achieve what God wants for us in this earth. You remember I said we must first seek first the kingdom of heaven and his righteousness. If you don't do that, you don't even need to be in this group, okay? So I'll tell you point blank, if you're seeking material possessions, this ain't the right group for you, okay? Because you will not win. You will fall away from the faith. You will pierce yourself and it's gonna grieve you because you're chasing after money. But God understands that while we are foreigners in this world, because we are his, we are kingdom citizens. You don't see the kingdom, but the kingdom comes through you through the wisdom. I was sharing with someone just a short time ago about the true power which comes from the kingdom. A lot of you are waiting for folks to lay hands on you and all this stuff. And we know that the word of God says that, you know, people will lay on hands and so forth. But let's be clear where the power really is. It's in the knowledge that comes from God. It's the wisdom of God that is able to overthrow anything that is waging war against you. You have to trust God's word, move in his word. It won't be comfortable to our own physical body because that's called carnal nature. Carnal nature, the word of God says in Romans 8, 7, is enmity against God for it cannot please God. So anything that God gives us, the wisdom to build wealth, is going to be hard for our physical person to accept. And so that's why we have to first seek him so that we can understand that he wants nothing but the best for us. Now I want to deal with John 10 and 10. The enemy comes to steal, kill, and destroy. But Jesus says, Yeshua, his Hebrew name, I have come to give you life and that you might have it more abundantly. Now, I know that there's been perversion around abundance, what that looks like, and you see a lot of people just profiting and so forth. But the abundance, first of all, is the wisdom of God to be able to walk in this world, not the way the world is walking, and be able to prosper. But first, you have to be content with what God has already given you. And if you are, then he will add things on to you. Now, when you get to this place, this is the fundamental point for those of you in this investing group. I want you to hear this. The world, which is apart from God, the secular world, it needs you to be a consumer. In other words, you will spend your money on things that make you feel good in the moment and you'll never really have anything, which means that you'll have to continue in the rat race getting money to buy things that you want, but don't add value to your life or to your children's life. It gives you a feel good at that moment, but you're not building an inheritance. So what you're literally doing is you are training your kids to be consumers and make other people wealthy. They never want you to transition your thinking from being a consumer to being an owner, to building wealth as opposed to consuming things that make other people rich. So this is what this group is all about. Your mind has to shift around your money. Your mind has to shift around what you think you need to make yourself happy. Your mind has to shift from your comfort zone that is really tearing you apart as you blame other people for why you feel the way you feel and then you use your resources to escape your reality. In other words, you go spend your money on things that decrease in value because you can't deal with the fact that you're unwilling to embrace new knowledge that grows your thinking that then grows your decisions and now when you grow in maturity around your money you can buy things that add value you can build wealth now for those of you who started a little late you may be building wealth right now that you may never use and you have to be okay with that because you're leaving an inheritance, but your behavior now in accumulating wealth to help other people is going to bless your descendants. That's what this is about. For those of you who are in this group at an early age, listen, take advantage of the knowledge, but first seek God. Make sure your heart is right with God because if it's not, you won't understand what's going on in here. Listen. There's a lot to be said 
But what I want you to get from this message, you have to stop being a consumer focused person. You got to go to the store to get this latest thing that just everybody's talking about. Oh, I got to escape my reality that my comfort zone has created that has caused me some pain, but I'm blaming everybody else. So I'm going to take my money and I'm going to go down to the casino. I'm going to take my money and I'm going to go buy this or that. See, the devil wants to keep you in a jail cell called your comfort zone. God wants to expand your mind so that your comfort zone doesn't cause you to be depressed, anxiety, all of this stuff. It's called maturity. Be willing to grow. There's information that will add on to what you already know. Don't be combative to it. Accept it, especially when it's coming from the word of God. And then he will grow you in understanding. So for those of you right now, I know some of you are still struggling around investing. We're focusing on the stock market because that's one avenue of investing. But there's so many more that I'm gonna share with you later on. But for the sake of this time in this season, we're gonna get you up to speed on leaving an inheritance, building generational wealth. That's something that rich folks don't want you to do. They want you to go out and buy that big screen TV. They want you to go buy that Gucci bag. They want you to do all this stuff. And there's nothing wrong with a Gucci bag. And there's nothing wrong with a big screen TV. But wouldn't it be nice if right now you're sacrificing and you're investing your resources into things that generate wealth for you? Five to 10 years from now, if you want a big screen TV, that asset sitting in your portfolio is generating dividends that you can pull from to buy the, the TV. You didn't even have to work for that. You literally made a decision to invest in something that adds value over time. And now the money is working for you. The wealth gap gets bigger because wealthy people, rich people, people who do have some understanding, their money is working for them now. They didn't go out and splurge and buy flat screen TVs and all of this stuff that decreases in value. They spent the early part of their life buying assets that generate revenue. A lot of folks, because of our consumer mind, got to have it right now. We don't stick with anything long enough. Even businesses, things that we might have started and stopped because it's not generating the kind of money that we need to feed that need to go out and buy some stuff right now. Mindsets have got to change. So that's why I'm here today in our BGI, By God Inspired Investment Group, to let you know that your thinking has got to change. And when you buy something, don't look at it every day. I'm talking about an investment portfolio in the stock market. Don't look at it like it's the casino. Don't look at it like it's going to go up 200% tomorrow. You got to be okay with buying it and forgetting about it and letting it grow as you continue to gobble up other stuff over time. And when the time is right, you'll thank me. It might be 10 years from now, 15 years from now. And if you don't live to see 10 years from now or 15 years from now, your children have an inheritance. Blessed is the one who leaves an inheritance for his children and his descendants or her children and her descendants. Now, the inheritance is not just money. The inheritance is the knowledge of God that you chose to follow. Proverbs 3, verses 5 and 6. I will trust in the Lord with all my heart. Lean not on my own understanding. In all thy ways, acknowledge him, for he shall direct my path. God bless you. Make sure you text us. There's a number above. Um, text your name to this number. It's for the investment group. And every week, we will send a stock tip of the week with some information for you to make some decisions on. That will start this week. So it's important for you to 
do that. And please understand, I'm not sending you anything that's going to cause you to lose or whatever. I can't promise you that you're going to be wealthy. But what I can tell you is that what I'm going to send, people charge for. This is to help you and your descendants build generational wealth over time. And now you'll be in a position that they never wanted you to be in. You are moving from a mindset of consumerism to a mindset of ownership. And then later on down the road, we'll talk about other things we can invest in. God bless you. God keep you. And invite more people to this group. If it's blessed you, invite them. We'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.